Welcome to the Dactronics Introduction to Venus 7000. This video will give a brief summary of the features of the Venus 7000 software. Feel free to follow along on screen or on your own DMP 7000 computer as we explore the program. When you start your machine, the Venus 7000 shell should automatically start, but if it doesn't, it's located in the Start menu under Programs, Venus 7000, V7 Shell. Once you're in the 7000 shell, there are four main buttons on the right side, Configure, Help, About, and Diagnostics. Under the Configure button, the main tabs we will discuss are the Signs and RTD Inputs tabs. These settings should only be altered with the help of a Dactronics trainer or technician. However, these tabs are good reference for troubleshooting. Under the Signs tab, you'll see a list of signs and windows that have been created on your system. You can get useful information about each sign, such as the sign name, size, and number. You can determine the host sign by locating the sign that has a driver. Also within the Signs tab, you can edit, add, and delete signs. The RTD Inputs tab lists various RTD or real-time data inputs that are on your machine. These include scoring and stats devices, such as an AllSport scoreboard controller, or DACSTAT software. RTD inputs can come from multiple different sources, such as a communications port or from over the network. Back in the Venus 7000 shell, click on the Help button. This will bring up the Help Topics menu. Here you can search different topics that you will come across in the 7000 program and see a brief description of each feature. The About button provides version information for your Venus 7000 software. The Diagnostics button defaults to the Services tab. In order for any display in your system to operate, Sign Service must be running. These systems are set to start every time the computer is powered on by default. Other tabs in the Diagnostics button include the RTD tab. This particular RTD tab allows the user to monitor each individual RTD input and the data being transferred over that input. The Lamp Test tab is helpful when a test pattern is needed on the display. To do this, simply select the display in the drop-down list and choose a pattern. The seven buttons along the bottom of the shell access various parts of the 7000 software. The Files button opens a custom file browser where all the content for your displays is stored. The Display button shows the sequences of files stored among the various sign folders. It will also be where buttons are created to run the content to the display. The Edit button opens the Dactronics Sequence Designer. This interface allows users to create dynamic content. The Monitor button launches an easy-to-use real-time desktop monitor. It gives you the option to select any sign or window. Simply choose the sign you wish to monitor from the drop-down menu. The Schedule button opens up a scheduler in the V7000 program. This feature is useful for systems that are used without an operator always present, such as in a marquee setting. The schedule allows the user to program content to run any combination of time periods and days of the week. Up to 5,000 events can be included in a single sequence. The VLink button is used to change the settings of the Dactronics video processors that take in live video feed to show on the display. These feeds may come from a camera, video switcher, instant replay system, or some other source. These settings are generally set up by a Dactronics technician or trainer and should not be altered unless instructed to do so. This concludes the overview of the Venus 7000. For more information, continue to the Overview of Show Control video.